Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the edit record function, which allows us to edit one of the records in our Xano database table uh, with new data. So if I go into my function stack and go to database request, you can find the edit record function here. It says edit a record and merge with existing data. And then I can choose one of my existing tables. So right here, I'm gonna select this product table for this example. And you can see this function gets added. And right away, you can see the input section of this edit record function. Uh, the first thing we actually need to do is find a record by one of the fields in those tables. So you can see the field name, it's equal to ID right now. Um, so that's just the default. We can hit this drop down and select any of the uh, field names from our Xana database table to choose to look up a record by. So instead of ID, if I want a name, I could go ahead and do that. You can see name would be removed from below uh, because we can't edit the the field that we're using to look up the record by. So I'm gonna go ahead and select ID here, and then let me go ahead and add some inputs. I'm just gonna do a database link first to uh, the product table, which just takes in all the fields and schema there. And then I'll also add a table reference uh, to my product table there. So when I go into my edit record for field value here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and map this up to the product ID that I just added. And then right here, we can see these fields are uh, hidden, but we can start to unhide them based on what we wanna actually edit. So for example, if I wanted to edit all name, description, and also price, uh, then I would go ahead and map those. If there was something you didn't wanna edit, you would simply just hide that, and it would just take the value of what was ever in there. Um, let's go ahead and save this. I'm gonna uh, leave created at hidden, because that's when the record's actually created. So if we go ahead and um, put in, we'll say product ID one, and the name is, we'll say, uh, just cool product description, uh, ABC, and we'll say um, price is 99. So if I go ahead and run that, you can see that ID one will get updated uh, with all this information. Now keep in mind that Xano performs full object replacements. So for example, if I went to go ahead and run this, and I have these inputs mapped up, but let's say I didn't pass anything for name, well, nothing is still a value. So if I actually run this, you can see that this would update my name uh, with basically a blank value. Uh, now, what we've done is we've created something called conditional set filters. So you can add conditional logic within filters uh, in case you wanna make a super flexible um, edit in your logic so that if a value is not in there, uh, Xano can recognize that and basically pull uh, your existing record. So I'll go ahead and demo that very quickly, uh, just a quick example. And there's a full tutorial on all this if you want more information on this. So let's go ahead and first look up or get our product information. Okay. And then for example here, let's go ahead uh, with uh, the description and I'm gonna add a filter called first, uh, not empty here. And the value is gonna come from that get record. And I'll just say product two dot description. And I'll just do one field. Uh, you can seek out that other tutorial if you wanna see the three other filters besides first, not empty, and how to fully use uh, these filters for some very flexible editing of records. Uh, so now if I run this, let's go ahead and delete this description ABC. And we'll say name is hello. But even though I'm not passing value for description, you'll see that it will actually pull uh, the existing description field for uh, record one here. So when I say hello, we see that description is still there. Uh, so that's it for edit record. A um, Couple other things just to point out on the output tab, you can customize what you get back and also do add-ons. But remember you can look up a field uh, by any of the field names in the table and then you can either choose to hide or actually uh, edit um, some of the fields in that table. And then if you want something flexible where if you're not passing in a value, uh, remember you can get the record and use these conditional set filters where there's another tutorial on that for more flexible editing. So thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.